Hello and welcome to Your World This Week, the weekly roundup for all the top news stories of the week. The top news stories this week are In what was a proud moment for India, Prime Minister Narendra Modi made a national announcement and said that India has entered its name as an elite space power with an anti satellite weapon ASAT, which successfully targeted a live satellite on a low Earth orbit. Today is 27th March. A while ago, India achieved a historic feat. India today registered itself as a space power. Till now, three countries of the world, America, Russia and China, had this achievement. India is the fourth country to have achieved this feat, PM Modi said. The Operation Mission Shakti was successful after achieving the difficult target within three minutes of launching the ASAT. ASATs are weapons designed to destroy satellites during warfare or for military purposes. ASAT weapons have not been used so far during a war and have been only demonstrated to show force or power. Mission Shakti's success has established India in the League of Space Superpowers. India is only the fourth country to achieve this feat after USA, Russia and China. Ahead of the 2019 Lok Sabha polls, many political developments have taken place through the week. After BJP inducted former cricketer Gautam Gambhir, big names from the entertainment industry have come forward. Prominent among them are Urmila Matondkar and Shatrugan Sinha who joined the Congress. Urmila Matondkar started her political career with Congress and she will contest from Mumbai North constituency. While Shatrugan Sinha was deflected from BJP and will officially join the INC on April 6. He is likely to contest from Patna Sahib constituency against BJP's Ravi Shankar Prasad. Meanwhile, actor-turned-politician Jaya Prada joined the BJP and will contest from Rampur Lok Sabha constituency against Samajwadi Party's Azam Khan. United States President Donald Trump will meet his South Korean counterpart Moon Jae-in for a summit on April 11th at the White House. The meeting comes amidst an impasse with North Korea on denuclearization following the Hanoi summit held recently. According to Yoon Hap, South Korean presidential office Seong Wadi issued a statement informing that Moon will arrive in Washington on April 10th and will meet Trump the next day. Senior Secretary for Public Relations Yoon Doha said at a press briefing, the leaders will have in-depth talks to discuss ways to strengthen the Seoul-Washington alliance and to coordinate their stance on setting up a peace regime on the Korean Peninsula through complete denuclearization. The South Korean president had held an emergency telephonic conversation with Trump after the US-North Korea summit ended abruptly on February 28th without any joint agreement. North Korea sought partial relief in sanctions at the summit in Vietnam, according to Pyongyang's Foreign Minister Ri Yong-ho. The United States, however, has held on to its stand to ease sanctions only when complete denuclearization is achieved. Priyanka Chopra makes Jonas Brothers go Bollywood. Looks like Desi girl Priyanka Chopra has influenced Jonas Brothers as far as music is concerned. After a video of Priyanka Chopra and Nick Jonas dancing to a Simba song went viral, PC posted a new video this week, in which she, along with Nick, Joe Jonas and his fiancée, Sophie Turner, was seen grooving to Tarifa, a song from the movie Vire the Wedding. This was during their Miami vacation and they were atop a yacht. In the caption, Priyanka wrote, when Bollywood music kicks in, Priyanka also tagged Karina and Sonam and rapper Bacha. Manchester United confirmed the appointment of Ole Gunnar Soldier as their full-time manager on a three-year contract. He was appointed as caretaker manager on 19 December 2018 after the departure of Jose Mourinho. He won the first eight games as an in-charge on an overall record of 40th victories and two draws in 19 games, amazing more Premier League points than any other club during that time. From the first day I arrived, I felt at home at the special club. He was quoted by Manchester United. He scored 126 goals in 366 appearances for United between 1996 and 2007. It was an honour to be a Manchester United player and then to start my coaching career here. The last few months have been a fantastic experience and I want to thank all the coaches, players and staff for the work we have done so far. This is the job that I always dreamed of doing and I'm beyond excited to have the chance to lead the club long term and hopefully deliver the continued success that our amazing fans deserve, he added. And now watch the viral video of the week.
Hope you like this edition of Your World This Week. We will be back next week with yet another episode of Your World This Week. Have a good day.